Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will see what is high level language and low level language. What is high level language? I have mentioned here few high level languages like JS, JavaScript, Java, C, C++, Python, C Sharp, Fortran. So these are the high level languages. These languages were created to simplify computer programming because it is difficult and time consuming to write the program in low level language like machine code or assembly language. These languages having easy to read or understand syntax in comparison to the low level language. Also, these languages are not bound to any processor. So these support the code portability feature. Suppose you have written C code on scene having Windows operating system and Intel processor. So that C code is not bound to Intel processor. You can use that C code in any other processor machine like AMD or ARM or any other architecture like 64 or 32. These supports the code portability means so you can use the program which you have written in one machine in other machine. So this is the code portability. So ultimately whichever language we have at the moment all are converted into machine code because processor or CPU only understand the machine code. So these languages high level languages also converted into machine code whenever we compile or interpret for example C. So when we write the C program we compile it and after compilation we get the machine code which can directly be run by the processor or Java. Java we compile the code and we get the byte code then byte code is converted into machine code by the Java virtual machine. So ultimately all languages are converted into machine code and these are the language we can read easily because we use the English words. Now what is low level language? These are the language which are very much close to hardware, very much close to processor. These are also called machine language. But these languages are not easy to understand. Not easy to understand what I mean is when we write the high level language, we use the English words. So it is easy to read or easy to understand by the program. But when we write the program in machine code 0 and 1, it is very much difficult for the programmer to understand what is the meaning of it. Even if he is able to understand, it will take some time to understand that. These languages are hardware dependent. So not support the code portability feature. Suppose you are writing a program in assembly language on the machine which is having the Intel processor. So that program will be bound to the Intel processor. It will not work on the other processor like ARM or AMD. Same way machine code. Machine code of particular processor or the hardware will not work in other hardware or in the other processor. That is called hardware dependency of the code. That's the reason when we compile our high level language into machine code, that machine code cannot be run on the other hardware. If we want to run on the other hardware, then we will have to recompile on that hardware. For example, you have written the C++ code on the machine which is having the Intel processor. So you have compiled on the Intel processor and if you are trying to run on the other processor like ARM or AMD, it will not work because the machine code is always dependent on the hardware or the processor. There are two types of low level language, assembly language and the machine language or machine code. Assembly language is easy to read in comparison to the machine code or machine language. Ultimately, assembly language is converted into machine code with the help of assembler. Why we convert into machine code? Because the processor or the CPU only understand the machine code. In assembly language, we use the instruction like move, add, sub. In machine code, we directly use the binary zero or binary representation of the program, which is the machine code. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.